I ain't no hood rat. You take that back. Well, you look like one. You smell like one. You smell that? Hood rat. I am not. Take it back. In the city, 2,500 miles from where I live. 2,295 miles. Don't make me smack you in front of all these. Hey, hey, hard head. Don't make me spank you when I get back. Don't listen to him, Garcia. He's all talk. Ah! JJ, he just hit me. Boys, behave, or I will ground you both. So, what you're wearing? A gun. And we could do it at your house. I don't have a house. I have a mansion. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Just another whore. How am I a whore? I'm with the FBI. FBI? You're not serious. You look like a pipe cleaner with eyes. You know, for a profiler, Reed is really clueless this entire scene. Reed? Emily, you are not going to believe this. No, oh, but he's so no. cute. You're showing Solaris tonight, the original, in the theaters. You want to go? Did Morgan put you up to this? What? Did Morgan tell you to call me? Oh, Morgan, have no idea what Solaris is. So, uh, you just called me out of the blue. Well, I mean, the original one's in Russian, so really, you and I are the only ones that can really enjoy it. Adorable. Isn't Solaris, like, four hours long? It's five, the best sci-fi meditation film of all time, but for some reason, they never really show it in the theaters. <laughs> you want to go with me? Sorry, handsome. I'm going to have to pass. We're just going to hang out with Sergio tonight. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize that... <laughs> Relax, Reed. Sergio is my new cat, but, um, thank you. For what? For being you. Aw, oh, thanks. I don't know how to be anyone else. He's so cute! <laughs> hey, how you doing? Looking good. Nice dress. So, Haiti, you finally made it. How are things in the underworld? Well, they're just fine. You know, a little dark, a little gloomy, and as always, hey, full of dead people. What are you gonna do? Oh. Someone just said, you're in the dark. Well, I'll tell you what, Sherlock Holmes. You are unbelievable. What are two clips that give off the same energy? Gwen, you have to treat a car like you treat a woman. Go on. No. I sense I've made a mistake of some kind. I think it's safe to assume our unsub is male. I agree with you, given what we know about aggressive driving and road rage. And the fact that men have an unnatural bond with their cars. That is true. Wait a minute, I don't know about unnatural. I once dated a guy who washed his car more than he washed his hair. A nice car needs love. And a woman doesn't? Uh, I'm not qualified to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's all watch Reed break character. Yeah, I couldn't point him out. We don't expect you to point them out. We're hoping you can help us once we have things narrowed down. Guys, of the 64 suspects, 18 of them didn't show up. Okay, I'll just... <laughs> I'll go through the 18 names and add them. Watching Criminal Minds doesn't make you a real FBI agent. Really? Unsub. Victimology. Geographical profiling. Homicidal triad. Wheels up in 30. Anger excitation behavior. What the fuck is that? What are you doing here? Learn your lines. And stay out of my- Be serious. <laughs> Watch my pubes. Sorry. Oh, okay. Fuck. Spencer Reed fans always be like, this is calm and it's doctor. Mm, no, that's obsessed and he's a middle-aged man. This is calm and it's doctor. It's not that hard to get in. I could just access the firewall, break down the virus, put the chip back in, and recode it to my liking. We should be in. And we're in. I ain't never seen two ugly best friends when one of them has a red aesthetic with darker overtones and enough trauma to make them feel like they're unworthy of love, and the other has a blue aesthetic with lighter overtones and a definite savior complex that has put their physical and mental well-being in danger multiple times. Uh, I'm sorry to pull you from class. I'm Detective Strauss. This is, is Officer... Is that recording? Yes, and it's going to stay that way. We're on public property, so I don't need to turn it's okay. it off. All right. It's about time I got on YouTube, anyway. <laughs> there are only two kinds of people who enjoy watching Criminal Minds. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get murdered. Was that a murderer? I'm gonna murder someone before I die.
I just know it. What is the movie scene equivalent to a mic drop? Charcoal gray. Well, look at that. He got one right. You match them to the color of your suit to appear taller. You also wear lifts and you've had the soles of your shoes replaced. One might think you're frugal, but in fact, you're having financial difficulties. You wear a fake Rolex because you've pawned the real one to pay your debts. My guess is to a bookie. This is horses. Your Blackberry's been buzzing on the table every 20 minutes, which happens to be the average time between posts from Colonial Downs. You're getting race results. And every time you do, it affects your mood in court, and you're not having a very good day. That's because you pick horses the same way you practice law, by always taking the long shot. If I'm not mistaken, the results from the fifth race should be coming through any minute. Why don't you tell us if your luck has changed? What's a scene from a movie or a TV show that just makes you go, like, women? A real FBI agent. Really? Really? No way. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. What's it like at Quantico? It's uh, quite impressive. What department are you in? That's classified. Mm -hmm. oh. Must be really tough keeping all those secrets. You know, it's a skill like anything else. Carpenters are good at building stuff, measuring. FBI is good at keeping secrets and keeping criminal ass. <laughs> wow. Well, somebody's got to do it. Oh, do you have to carry your gun and badge with you everywhere you go? Affirmative. Can we see it? See what? Your badge. Please. I'm oh, sorry, that's... Classified. Figures. Of course. Tell me, Brad, does it look anything like this? Uh, or this? Or maybe this? FBI! We know why you're doing this. Your mother hates you. It never shows you compassion. She's not your mother, Sabrina. No anything. We have no time to waste. Wheels up in 30. JJ, what's wrong? Nothing. I just miss my son and my southern baby daddy. Baby girl, I'm gonna do a big on foot chase scene because I'm the black character and therefore I'm the athletic one. You know, I'm fully aware that JJ and I should form a romantic relationship and it's doctor. Well, bend me over your knee and spank me because I just found the location of the onsen. I'm replaceable. Yes, I did recreationally say the N word despite not being a black person. Who wants spaghetti? Moments in criminal minds that make me laugh but are definitely not supposed to be funny? Cigarette is best. After sex with me. Mind your manners. Bill by the science guy. about it this bitch dora and here come y'all in the comments berlisi you can't call dora a bitch that's not right man fuck dora what is the hardest you've ever cried for a television show because of a death hi daddy hi buddy it's george a bad guy yes he is but jack i need you on this case with me do you understand I need you to work the case with me. Okay, Daddy. Jack, hug your mom for me. Oh my God, go on, I'm working the case. <laughs> what are you doing? I worked the case with you, Dad. Jack, 
I'm glad you're working the case with me. You know I can always use your help. I work the case, Daddy. Guess I can sad. This is Reginald. He's a purebred Doberman Haversham. He cost $2,000 and we're on a waiting list for two years to get him. These are my babies, Chonko and Fuckass. I found them in a dumpster and I love them more than life itself. Here's some non-sexual sounds that turn you on. A young boy's life was at stake. I ran the probability of his survival, and it wasn't good. If you want to punish me for taking a risk, then I encourage you to do that. But do not put the rest of my team on trial for something that I suggested. Calm down, Agent. This is Calm, and it's Doctor. I'm about to get naked so they can scrub me down. Is that something you really want to see? I'll check on you later. No, 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 not today. No, not today. Watch. Watch. Most feel empathy just fine, which makes me think the rest of our profile is still accurate. Loner, invisible, outcast, boiling race, son of a bitch! Hi, this is Dr. Spencer Reed. I actually can come to the phone right now with a very special message that your mother is Reed. a... Reed. I will crush you. What? What? What are you doing here? This is a private residence. Get her out of here. You can't go in there without a warrant. Wrong. People say Hotch has one kid. False. He has three. Don't do that. What is it, boy? I don't know. Don't stop it. Don't. What? What's the problem? Don't do that. Why not? Because there are six elevator related deaths per year, not to mention 10,000 injuries that require hospitalization. Chill out. This sounds like pretty good odds to me. What, what, you scared me? You're scared I'm not scared. scared. I don't want to be an elevator. Scared. You to be honest. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? or weapons. I won't need a gun. Period. There's no way they're gonna execute me next week. Not after I killed two FBI agents. You saved my life by coming here. But unfortunately for you, I'm not a five foot tall, hundred pound girl. Look at Reed's face. Look at his face. All your life, you've gone after <laughs> victims who couldn't fight back. And the rest of the time you spent looking over your shoulder. Worried about the knock on the door. Oh, shoot. Scared that somebody like me would be on the other side waiting to put you away. At your core, you're a coward. Tell him. Did you guys do me a favor? Anything. Could at least one of you look like you're going to see me again? See you when you get back. here with the files to be decoded. And I'm... <laughs> I don't know. What's a scene in a movie that you die laughing, but it's not supposed to be a comedic movie? <laughs> Watch this. There was this young prince who wanted to win the heart of fairest maiden in the land so he climbed to the top of the tallest tower in the kingdom and he caught a falling star for her unfortunately he was so excited that he dropped it and it smashed into all of these pieces so he frantically put it back together again to prove his undying love to her and he succeeded and they lived happily ever after that doesn't make any sense what do you mean you can't catch a falling star it would burn up in the atmosphere <laughs> Yeah, but it's not literal, Reed. It's a fable. But there's no moral. Uh, fables have morals. Okay, so it's just a romantic little story. And the, the point is, it's basically impossible to do because you have to take all of those pieces and fit them together exactly. There's a lot to hate about you, Dr. Reed. Gideon, it's actually a ancient Chinese game called Wei Pei. Mao used to play it with his general, so he, the, when, it's an ancient game called Wei Pei, but he, when. Okay, I was gonna make an edit for it being one year since Criminal Minds ended, but this is so much better, just like No, because 
Because I'm not okay. <sighs> it's literally real. This is real. Sorry, why don't we just relax? We'll turn on the radio. Would you like? I think we could do it if we tried. If only to say you're mine. Always posting my emotions on how I'm so fucking broken. Briefing room, everybody. This is a big one. Three victims, female, Wichita County, Kansas, all seniors in high school. So what, you're saying this guy likes little girls? Actually, the pattern of victimology suggests he may be more of a sexual sadist than a pedophile. Also, I love heroin. Whatever he is, we have to get there before it's too late. Agent Hotchner, you know, things like this don't usually happen in our small town. Unfortunately, Sheriff, it could happen to anyone. I'm haunted by the ghosts of my past. Do you think we'll find the missing girl before it's too late? Definitely not the first one, but we will save the second one a couple of seconds before she dies. Guys, I think it's the school teacher! FBI, my marriage is failing! It be like that sometimes. George Washington.